Governor Stevenson takes time out from his strenuous campaign to attend the graduation of his son, Adlai III, from the Marine Officer Candidate School at Quantico, Virginia. He presents his son with a sheaf of commissions for the entire platoon. It is a proud father and an equally proud son on an occasion important to both. Later in New York, he receives an enthusiastic welcome from officers and delegates to the American Federation of Labor Convention. The Democratic candidate receives an ovation when, during the course of his address, he calls for the outright repeal of the Taft-Hartley Act. His opponent, General Eisenhower, conducts a whirlwind speaking tour through the Midwest, where he is greeted with enthusiasm during his grassroots itinerary. And it is here that a doughty warrior learns the real hazards of campaigning. Fortunately for the general, he has an able bodyguard in the person of Mrs. Eisenhower. During one of his stops, confronted with a campaign dilemma, he tells an applauding audience of his confidence in his running mate. I have worked with and have confidence in Senator Nixon. Off Korea, a new era dawns in warfare. The carrier USS Boxer launches guided missiles for the first time in combat, bringing the push-button war of tomorrow into present-day reality. Defense Department films show the first mission of the robot bombers, weapons that may someday eliminate the human element from air war. The robot missile is catapulted aloft. It is a semi-obsolete Hellcat carrying a one-ton bomb load and a television camera instead of a pilot. Already in the air is the mother plane with an observer who flies the drone by remote control. Side by side, missile and mother plane head for the target. Then the pilot, safely out of range of interception and anti-aircraft fire, guides the robot directly into the target with unerring accuracy. A devastating surprise debut for a deadly new weapon. Vast inaccessible reaches of the frozen Northland assume new importance as news comes of a strategic air base only 900 miles from the North Pole. This nation's greatest military secret since the mounting of the Normandy invasion, construction of the base at Thule in Greenland was begun 18 months ago. While not fully completed, it is ready and working. Northernmost outpost of our jet fighter defense and an obvious staging ground for our intercontinental bombers. An airborne task force prepared the way for an army of construction workers that followed. Battling time and weather, Operation Blue Jay, as it's called, performed a miracle of engineering, built miles of runways and acres of barracks, hangars, and warehouses. The importance of the base is best understood by looking at the map. It is only 2,700 miles to Moscow, so Thule could play a vital role in deterring aggression. <laughs> 